Right now, we've got a hostage rescue operation at the Werner facility in Area R2M, southwestern Iuli. It's being led by a team of regular military forces. The terror group we're up against is likely to stage a large-scale counterattack. You'll be providing close air support, going in ahead of our commando forces to destroy surveillance sites. You'll also be responsible for striking the hostiles around the facility to ensure a smooth approach for our commandos. Once we've secured the nine gray men hostages held in the central facility, we'll need you to back up the commandos as they pull out of the area. On this op, you'll be working alongside a UNAF tactical fighter squadron, the Ridgebacks. Unlike you guys, they're about as elite a force as you can get. If we don't rack up more kills than they do, it's gonna impact my bottom line, and thus yours, dismissed.
single lines on their backs. <laughs> Stupid modern art emblems. This is the UNF affiliated AWACS Sky Eye. I'll be directing combat ops for all active aircraft. This is Goodfellow. We're commencing tandem operations. Sky Eye will take over command of all Arrows units. All Ridgeback units, ignore these clowns and proceed with your mission as normal. Destroy our targets before those elite forces can get to them. They're gonna take all our money. Copy that! Your worst nightmare, huh? Leper's Ace Seminar 103. Rookie, you gotta be hungry. Whether you're a lead or not means nothing. You perform in battle, you get to reap the rewards. That's just how we operate. Never let them take your prey. Let's go, Reaper. This is Lieutenant Burns of Marine Forward Air Control. We have Sam stationed in our path, requesting fire support. Sky Eye to all units. Secure the helicopters, LZ. Destroy the anti-air missile sites. Bridge back here. We'll go, Sky Eye. Don't let him get that. Data link lost. Sams are dangerous. If you see one fire, take evasive action immediately. Yeah. Hurry up! We're gonna get shot down! How many Sams do we have? Three in all. Engage and destroy. First enemy Sam site destroyed. Opening data link. Solid hit on building. Someone explain! 
Explain what the hell's going on! Stay in formation. Keep focused on your surroundings. Some kind of high explosive shell? That can't be the end of it. They're gonna hit us again. This is Sky Eye. All units, we've got something flying in at supersonic speed. It's coming at you from long range. Lower your altitude. What do you want us to do, burrow in the ground? Damn it! Into the canyon, that's the only way! Commando team, stand by where you are. Anyone in high altitude is an open target. Move it! Thanks for the ghost! Arrows, all units, follow Viper into the canyon. Bridgebacks, follow me. I'll mark out the roof. Right behind you. You'll be open to hostile fire at high altitude. I'm restricting your altitude to 800 meters. All flights at higher altitude, descend into the canyon now! Please stay calm. Watch the altimeter on the right of your HUD. We think the previous attack came from a railgun. Second wave of fire imminent. All units, proceed through the canyon and escape this airspace. Go, rookie! Don't fall behind Viper! Second wave of hostile fire detected. Sending estimated point of landing and blast zone to all units. Get out of the blast zone before my countdown hits zero. Five, four, three, two, impact! Hey, they're flying at us in the canyon too! Be advised, the railgun blast disseminates flammable gas into the atmosphere, triggering a large secondary explosion. This blast may cause damage, even at low altitudes. Once you see the initial explosion, get away from the site immediately. Work your way around the secondary explosion. Get out of the zone to dodge the fragments. How many on, kilometers to escape line? Incoming blast. Watch the danger zone on your radar. Why are they gonna stop? Five. Terrorist groups were apparently planning to commandeer an anti-air railgun in Turkey. We were too late to stop them. And now it's in the hands of the enemy. They're using Menher 3 a geosynchronous satellite, to aim the gun. Due to the Comprehensive Space Warfare Ban Treaty, we're not allowed to touch it. Luckily, the gun can only fire extreme close-range SS ordnance. That gives it the shortest firing range we can hope for. Let me be clear, though, that it's extreme close range only in astronomical terms. What's more, its power is overwhelming. It can cover a four million foot radius, which means we've essentially lost air superiority in Eastern Europe and the Western Middle East. We also have a confirmed SSTO launch from the West Indies a few days back. That presents the possibility that Werner's satellites have been seized by the terrorists. 